When we talk about exchange rate, we need to differentiate between two types of exchange rates, nominal exchange rate and real exchange rate. What do we mean by nominal exchange rate? This is the exchange rate you find in any bank, such as Commonwealth Bank, St. George Bank, NAB Bank, which refers to what? This is the price of one currency in terms of another currency, such as 0.8 euro per one Australian dollar. This is what's reported by banks. But what we care about more is the real exchange rate, not nominal exchange rate, the ones that we need to calculate ourselves. So what do you mean by real exchange rate? Real exchange rate is the value of a country's goods against those of another country, which means I would like to see the competitiveness of this currency, which means with this currency, how many units I could buy of goods and services. Therefore, our formula for real exchange rate will be real exchange rate will give it simple R is equal to nominal exchange rate. In this formula, I will use indirect quotation, which is S multiplied by I will use domestic price divided by foreign price. Why? Because with the nominal exchange rate in direct quotation, it is foreign currency divided by pair domestic currency. So it's covered that here the foreign currency will offset the foreign price and the domestic currency will offset domestic price. And that's why if we use direct quotation, I need to swap the foreign price with the domestic price. Therefore, this is the formula we use for indirect quotation. The quotation will make a difference in our formula and how we're going to interpret the formula. Therefore, in this video, we will stick with indirect quotation. So let's get an example. We know that the real exchange rate equal nominal exchange rate using indirect quotation multiplied by domestic price divided by foreign price, which would be star. So let's assume that our nominal exchange rate, which is 0.8 euro per Australian dollar, and here we refer to indirect quotation. And let's assume that the iPhone in Australia is worth 2000 Australian dollars and the iPhone in Europe, in Italy, it worth 1600. Therefore, what will be our real exchange rate? Real exchange rate is equal to nominal exchange rate of 0.8 multiplied by domestic price of 2000 divided by foreign price of 1600. It will give us real exchange rate is equal to one. Therefore, our benchmark for real exchange rate will be one. So what do you mean by one? It means that the two countries have the same competitiveness. What do you mean by same competitiveness? It means that they have the same purchasing power priority, the same purchasing power capacity, which means if I took, if I take into account price differential and the exchange rate, it will give me the same competitiveness. Then let's assume that in Australia, we increase the price of iPhone. So we will have the same exchange rate, 0.8 euro per Australian dollar. The iPhone in Australia will be higher, 2200 instead of 2000. And the iPhone in Europe will be the same, 1600. Let's calculate our real exchange rate. It's equal to nominal exchange rate of 0.8 multiplied by our new domestic price, 2200, divided by foreign price, 1600. Therefore, our R will be 1.1. We know that 1.1 is bigger than 1. So why real exchange rate here went up? Because we increased the domestic prices. So every time we increase our domestic prices, it means that Australia will be more competitive or less competitive. This means that Australia will be less competitive, which means our domestic goods will be relatively more expensive. Therefore, our domestic goods will be less competitive. Consequently, our currency is overvalued. Let's get another example where we decrease the price of iPhone in Australia. So we'll have the same exchange rate of 0.8 euro per Australian dollar. iPhone is 1800 Australian dollar. iPhone in Italy is 1600. Therefore, our real exchange rate is equal to nominal exchange rate of 0.8 multiplied by domestic price 1800 divided by foreign price 1600. This will give us a real exchange rate of 0.9. So this means that our real exchange rate is lower than one, which is our benchmark. So what do we mean by the real exchange rate is lower than one? If you look at the example here, compared to our previous examples, you'll discover that we decrease the price in Australia for iPhone. So this means that our domestic goods will be more competitive. What do we mean by more competitive? It means that it will be relatively cheaper. So this means that our currency will be undervalued, which means it's better that you buy iPhones in Australia compared to Europe. Why? Because it will be cheaper in Australia compared to Europe. While in the second example, when we increase the price of iPhone at 2200, we have R bigger than one, 
What do we mean by are bigger than one? It means that our domestic goods are less competitive. What do we mean by less competitive? Relatively more expensive. It means that our currency overvalued. It means that it's better that you buy iPhones from Italy, not from Australia. While our first example are equal to one, it's same purchasing power price. It means that if you purchase iPhones from Australia, it's exactly the same as if you purchase your iPhone from Italy.